All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. I got an awesome one for you today. Um, this is a deck that uh, did well uh, in a Japanese tournament. Oh, it's like a meme at this point, uh, but actually, uh, before Worlds, and the player actually went 3-0 and then dropped. That was a huge like red flag for us in our Worlds testing. We were like, ooh, why would that person go 3-0 and drop? They're trying to hide the deck, uh, you know? But I uh, tried in Worlds testing. It was pretty sweet, but ultimately didn't really have much enough time to work on it and uh, kind of just pushed it by the wayside. But what we have here is a really, really unique deck in standard. This is a red-green prowess sort of beatdown deck based around Picnic Ruiner, the uh, the really, really good draft uncommon. Hasn't seen too much play in standard just yet. Defender for a 2-2. Whenever it attacks while you control creature power for a raider, it gets double strike on the turn. Now, it's important to note this counts itself. So you put an Audacity onto a Picnic Ruiner on turn three, you are attacking with a four power double strike trample creature which is obviously insane uh so picnic ruiner here with monstrous rage and audacity makes for some really really explosive starts uh, obviously kamado can give it a counter which is cool too we have some four power creatures and miglaz and potentially godric and uh questing druid here also as you draw cards and pump some things up so kind of like a red green prowess you know blitz stack with the ability to Probably kill on turn three, honestly, right? If you're a ruiner, just go like, you know, rage, 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 or audacity, rage, rage, probably just kill your opponent, which is great. Uh, but also the ability to kind of play a little longer with some bigger creatures, Godric and Miglaz. Um, Monster Rage, just here. Tyvar stand, a couple protection spells here. It could also be a huge pump later in the game, which is kind of cool. And um, just kind of a really unique look in this format where you just have this really unique looking uh, powerful deck that can overpower and be aggressive, but also grind a little bit too. Has some pretty high card quality. You know, Miglaz is a card that is really, really, really good, but just hasn't really had a home in standard. And um, you get to play it, which is great. Obviously, you can destroy uh, short Leyland Bindings. You can attack. You can do a lot of good stuff, which is great. Uh, Vigilance against Wandering Emperor. All the good stuff. So, Frenzy here kills Shielder. Just a good card in general. Play with Fire as a removal spell. Cyborg has the ability to kind of board out of the kind of combo-y pump stuff. Uh, if you want to be the, a mid-range deck game against aggro decks with the Strangle, Frenzies, Barrages, Obstinate Bailouts, and then uh, some Jaya's. It's a Planeswalker that plays very well in the deck. Obviously, we're playing a lot of spells, so Prowess is cool. And Bailout for a little life gain, also very good against the Liana. So, really awesome deck. Really, really fun. Excited to show it for you all. But first, let's get to a quick word from our sponsor from CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Jim Davis, and you can show your support while getting 5% off your entire order by using the promo code JIM5 at checkout. Need singles for constructed or kitchen table play? Looking to pick up sealed product or the latest in magic accessories? We've got you covered. CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and remember to use the code JIM5 at checkout for 5% off. CoolStuffInc.com, cool stuff in stock. All right, uh, on the draw, hand is not great. I don't know if you can mulligan this, but supposed to be your Godric removal spell. Not a lot of good, exciting stuff going on. Drew both Rockfall Veils, which is a little awkward, uh, but try to make it happen here. Hopefully no cut down. All right, we're in. Need to draw spells. Uh, it's really the, uh, the A number one here, and uh, that is a spell technically, sure. So here's Kamano. The spear might get hit with a go for the throat here, but that'd be fine for our Godric, so. Cast the old Kamano. Card's so good. Just an excellent, excellent, excellent card. Alright, so. Hitting a, a go for the throat on your one drop is actually pretty good, so. Pretty happy with that. Just play Lance, they go. We have Godric next turn with a counter on it, which is cool. We see Swamp. We see Kaido with no creature. That's good for us. That's very good, actually. So, make the ninja and phase out. Sure. We draw Picnic Ruiner, which is kind of cool. Um, we can use the Stolen Goodies next turn. Or just cast it. Let's cast Godric. Add the counter. Just get it for four. They've already used one go for the throat. So, obviously, there's a, a limited amount of those possible. Uh, a Liliana here would be pretty annoying. Get the Kaido going, which is, you know, not ideal, but a little slow to do so. Stolen goodies should be three plus most encounters among any number of creatures you control. Definitely the, you know, the plan B for this card. The, play, the, the goal here is mostly to play, play the Ruiner, but if it's near a spot like this where you're kind of flooded, head to Liliana, damn. All right, so they have the Liliana, which sinks. 
Uh, they get to edict me, but I get to pump up the uh, the little guy. So I guess we're just gonna stolen goodies here. Um, we are obviously very flooded at this point. We get to kill Liana either way. I could kill Kaido too. Maybe I should just kill Kaido. Yeah, and then pumping this like, I mean, they have a cut down. We're dead, but they didn't have it on turn on turn uh, two turns ago. So we'll just guess this. Fire up the goodies. Kill Kaido. They can plus Liana. We discard a land, which obviously we have tons of. We have the Frenzy also, and the Ruiner. So, get the card draw engine gun. Not our best draw for sure. Here's a Mirix. Rack Dose Sleeves. What do you got, friend? That's kind of the goal of this deck, is you are trying to overload their Go for the Throats by just playing a bunch of things they can't kill with anything but Go for the Throat. So, obviously that Liliana was pretty good. Usually Liliana wouldn't be that good against us. We have a bunch of crappy creatures, but, um, you know, our draw was a little, uh, a little thin. Ugh, gross. All right, so second Liliana doesn't plus the first, meaning they actually like their hand a lot. Pretty bad for us. Um... And then no attacks either. Interesting. So we have this uh, questing druid. is a great draw, actually. We get to go ruin or go, and then just end step will questing druid seek the beast. Um, pretty happy with all that, honestly. Play land, play ruiner. They could have make to spear, but you know that would hit this. Maybe we'll see what happens. So we'll just say go. They have another go for the throat. They have a fairy mastermind. Sure. It's fine, honestly. Sizing wise, not that good. We're looking for a pretty big uh, Seek the Beast here. I also look at them to not have Make Spear. That'd be good too. Can you leave my stuff alone? Stop killing all my stuff. They have a Virtue. Ugh, gross. Um, I guess we're going to seek the beast in response and just try and spike a uh, protection spell. We get Suspear and Ruby. Alright. I mean, not the worst. Obviously, they have a Virtue now, too. So they're really, uh, they're really popping off here. A lot of rule spells. That's kind of the concern. There's like a little bit. Is it like all the mid range, like bajillion rule spell decks seem kind of good against us? But now we're time our stand. We we just missed it. Just freaking missed it. All right. So we get to just unload here. We have to go questing druid into ruby into sisphere. And then we can land time our stand. Should probably just do that. Put a land now, actually. So we're never gonna kill this Liliana, I think. So play this. Play ruby. Add a counter to Questing Druid. Ruby's got haste too. So does Sisphere. Pump it all up. Both will attack the Liliana, which should probably kill it. And I have a stand also. If they just cast this Virtue, um, it's not that good, right? I mean, like, I have a, I have a few dudes, but right, both attack here to try and ensure that this dies. I don't need to use my Tyvar stand just yet. All right, I mean. Pretty good questing druid. Questing druid's a huge part of the deck as a way to kind of like grind against these removal heavy decks. Now they use a kill spell here. Uh, I would save the druid. I wouldn't save either one of these. Go for the All right, yeah, we'll save that. All right, X is zero. Save this. So they got one card left. Now I draw a second. They have a virtue. We have a frenzy. Our board's pretty good. Um, it's funny how we actually kind of want them to play shoulder here. They just have it for shoulder. We just frenzy it. Down to thirteen. Nothing. We draw audacity. So I really wish we had the uh, tie of our stand still because casting audacity uh, and risking them having a removal spell. I mean, they've already cast Ugo for the throats and a virtue. I think we gotta just go for it. We audacity onto the. Swift Spear, probably. I like it with four powers. So it pumps up a lot. It's a huge attack. I were to go for it. Might get blown out here, but... It's 
That's why the protection spells are really important in this deck. Alright, sick. Alright, this is a huge attack. Uh, this is number 10. Had a removal spell, it probably would have killed this in response to the Audacity, so I don't draw cards, so I don't know what, uh, what's going on here. They have an Urtai. Um, they're going to destroy the Questing Druid. Kind of weird, honestly. Again, I, I don't know why they wouldn't have just killed this with Spirit Response, which uh, counters the Audacity too, but sure. Um, we will draw a card off this and see what happens. And then, then uh, oh wow, they draw off this thing too. That's gross. And we draw a land. Oh wow, man. Disaster on all fronts. Alright. Um, we're just gonna kill this. I didn't do that. I'm sorry. I, I, I screwed up. I forgot this thing's gonna grow. Alright, so they're at 8. They draw a shield. They were probably dead. Yeah, that was a little, a little itchy, little itchy, itchy, itchy trigger finger on the uh, on the frenzy. Didn't need to be that aggressive with it. Let's draw uh, another, another questing druid. Come on, out place. Deals one paralysis. Pumps the both these. All right. They're gonna draw. Both players draw the mastermind. We draw a Miglaz. Pretty good draw, actually. No more go for the threats, please. Horned Lock Whale? Damn. Alright, draw off of Audacity. We draw... We bottom Sith Spear and then just draw another Sith Spear. Sure. Um, so we're going to hold this for the trigger on Kamano. We'll play Miglaz, um, which can pump... Uh, I'll play the land so I can kill this enchantment if they play it. And we'll just say go. They can play this on their turn as a 6-6 blocker. This game's gone a little tough for us. They've kind of hit us in a lot of spots, drawn a lot of lands. We're still like pretty, pretty heavily in it, which is sweet. All right, they're just playing the big wheel. Um, okay. This thing can pump twice, which is kind of cool. Untap and draw. Monstrous rage. What a draw! What a draw! All right. Um. Vigilance and Menace on the Crusher. So I can actually Vigilance and Menace. They have to block up both things and plus Pump Pump Rage kill them. Let's see, it costs two, two. Yeah, it's all great. Alright, let's do it. Here comes the attack. Monster's Rage, great draw. I think we're still in pretty good shape anyway, honestly. Because this Miglaz attack forces a double block anyway, and they go to. We pump twice, kill both things. They go to two. Let's double block. We are going to pump. And we are going to pump. And then we are going to Monstrous Rage. Um, this is already a trample. I'm sorry, no trample. So three, four, five. That'd be six, seven, eight, nine. I think they're just dead either way. Um, trampling here. It also saved. Yeah, just do it here. I think this is lethal regardless, and also saves it in case things go wrong in some weird way, so. Sick. That was an awesome game. Um, we're using Monsters Rage too here, obviously, in this deck. So, more of a mid-range matchup. Um, a little more inclined to want to, like, cut the Audacity uh, Monsters Rage stuff. Um, especially on the draw. I think on the draw will be a little more of a controlling deck. Let's bring the Frenzies. Uh, obviously, the Bailos for Liliana, the Miglaz, the Jayas, the Squeeze. And we should be a much bigger deck. Cut the Audacities. Cut the Monstrous Rages. The Play of Fires aren't great either. Um, we are a much bigger deck now. We can see here. Um, a little light on lands. That's fine. I wouldn't mind building a land if it's like actually. You just board like some good value land. When you're boarding all these four drops. Obviously, bought Bailout's meant for Liliana too. But um, maybe it's Ruby's to ramp a little bit. I think the protection spells are still good. I'm going to shave a Play of Fire. Maybe four frenzies is not needed. It's really less aggressive. It does kill Shieldred, but um, killing Shield is a pretty big game. Honestly, Shield is pretty important. 
let's say one of the Tymar stands. A little harder to be leaving up protection spells when our curve goes up and we're on the draw and we're not really trying to do the, the audacity thing. So, board to a mid range deck a little bit. Try and out mid range them with our Planeswalker and our Mool spells. And then, of course, Bail Off for Liliana is excellent. The Liliana, they plus probably just uh, not win the game, but it's really, really good. Upon uh, Mulligans, another hand sucks keep moment, probably. This hand's pretty bad. I'm going to keep. Yeah, they may be, be boarding one Mistress Foundry in the board. Wouldn't be a bad idea when you board into this mid-range deck. Squeeb is an excellent draw. Uh, excellent, excellent draw. Gave us 2-3 curve, as well as little extra value, which is nice. Gonna cast our, cast our little Gabo boy. Ichnik Ruiner, dead. Gonna, key, gonna keep it alive. They have a Virtue here. I get to slam the Squee, which is nice. Land three, Graveyard Trespasser. The Mighty 3-3. Three, three. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to say go here. Sure. You got me. 3-3. Three, three. Trained Armadon, too good. Here's a Murex. Playing Jaya and making a monk is pretty uh, pretty sweet, honestly. A little goblin deck here, but as close as you get the goblins in another format. Go for the throw at the squee. It's fun. You get to exile it, which is kind of gross, honestly, but sure. Alright, no blocks. Jaya goes up to five when we do this, so here's Rockfall Veil. Um, yeah, we can chomp and block and keep it alive. It's fine, so let's we'll attack for two. Play Jaya and plus. A little flooded here, unfortunately. Uh, Wild Lance. Wild Lance, but. Probably just let the Trespasser hit the Jaya here. These Prowls creatures are pretty sweet. Um, really would like to draw uh, Questing Druid. It's a real, uh, real big one to get back into this game as far as uh, cards go. They're going to Virtue, my poor little monk. Sure. Play land. That's uh, all right. So we can just Frenzy this thing if we have to. It's our only creature. Let's see what we draw. Draw Obstinate Bail Off. Um, pretty interesting. We already used to go for the throw. They only have two cards left. I think we're going to cast this before we do anything and see if they have Make Spear or not. Let's start there. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have used the freaking discard on the, on the Trespasser. Ah, I, I screwed up. Ah, that would have been so cool. I messed up. Alright, whatever. Alright, plus this. Attack with this. My bad. Has Double Strike, which is gas. Yeah, I could have just used the Frenzy on this. Paid 4 mana for that. Discarded to the ward. Played it for free. That'd have been a lot cooler, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, so ended up working out because they have shielded, so now nah, I feel better about it. I'm just gonna draw. Uh, I'm just gonna draw another land. Um, play a land. So, yeah, we're just gonna frenzy down shielded. We just took damage that we maybe didn't need to, but could exile top two off of Jaya also. We could play one of the cards we draw. They have one card left. They do have Virtue next turn, um, which is a little annoying. But if we get to Frenzy this attack for a bunch, it's pretty good, too. Making more creatures is pretty sweet, though, honestly. Because then next turn I can play more spells, too. Let's just... Um, let's just attack, and then we'll kill Shieldred. It's funny. If they have a counter spell... Like, Make Spear's the only one. I'll just do this now. Just before we even attack, let's just do it. Which make sure we can kill it. Cast this. Prowess Star. It's dead. Sweet. Attack with these. This is an attack for eight also, which is kind of nice. The double strike. By applying pressure, we make the virtue worse because tapping seven mana to not affect the board is uh, going to be a harder thing to do if they're out of the life total. So, despite drawing eight lands, doing pretty good here, honestly. Point of mulligan, but I think the Demir mid range decks are a little weak, honestly. Jai is also a sweet planeswalker. Hasn't seen a, doesn't seen a ton of play, but card is pretty good. Puzzle the adventure cards too, because they're creatures but also spells. 
opponent in the tank here. I want to remind you all, of course, there's a companion article to this video on CoolStuffInc.com, as there always is. Point your browser to CoolStuffInc.com. I do a written article every Friday, as well as a video article every Monday. And, of course, the best deals on games for the last, I don't know, 20 or so years on CoolStuffInc.com. And uh, promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. And a free Jim Davis Goblin token, which is gas. They block, which is great also. So now you just have, like, a phenomenal board. Uh, if they go land Virtue, I might be able to kill them if we draw well. Draw well. All right, here's Virtue. Untap. Draw another land. This is unbelievable. All right, so we're going to exile top two and try and hit here. And we hit a... Questing Druid is the nut. That was the best possible. All right, so... Seek the Beast. Prowess. Top two cards. So Spear, another Jaya. So Spear. Land. Another Jaya. Prowess everywhere. We're going to keep the new one. Make a token. And attack for a bunch. Didn't do the math here. Close. Almost lethal, but not quite. Uh, they get back Shieldred, but... Unless they have some sort of superhero, I think we're pretty good. They go to three. We can even just use the minus ability, the minus two ability to kill the Shieldred if we get to attack. Number of attacking creatures damage. Risky, though, they kill a creature before I attack, but... I guess they would still have to block and it would die anyway, but... Go to Knight, draw another land. This is an absolutely heinous amount of lands. Um, I think best player is just a minus and try to find a good spell. Um, I'll just do that. Top two cards. We see... There we go. Picnic Ruiner is awesome. So, Picnic Ruiner is great. And this is a green spell. We're going to spread the damage out across multiple bodies. There we go. Probably just like one, two, three, honestly. Pumps all the prowesses up. We have a bajillion lethal attackers now. Alright, and then uh, I'm just going to serve. I'd be pretty surprised if they can survive this attack. We have four lethal attackers, and they have one blocker. Would have wanted to bounce the bail off, sure. Attack all. I mean, they could have drawn better this game for sure, but we also drew 10 lands this game. Like, actual 10 lands. So, nice to know our deck can grind in a game where things don't go right. Pretty sweet. That's an awesome game. Ooh, this is a pretty nice hand. Uh, some Kamados, Sis Spears, Play with Fire. The Farce is a little awkward, so I've all read it early, but this is a fun hand if you need to decide if we're going to play Kamado on one or Sis Spear on one. They play Grixis Slam, we draw Audacity. Damn, that's nice. All right, let's go. Let's go Kamado on one. And then Suspear Audacity on two, most likely. Want to get that value up the counter. And hopefully they'll just, like, tap for something. Ooh, Riveteer's Requisition. That's kind of cool. Cobble Gorge is a good draw, too. Um, so we can go Suspear. Get the counter. Could just play another Kamano. We don't need to play the Audacity just yet. If we Audacity, we attack for a lot, but there's no doubt we can kill it. Just think great. Um, yeah, we'll just go to Spear Kamano, I think. Still a good attack. Prowess works. Gets around everything. Attack for a chunk. Deal some damage. That's not bad. Doesn't see too much play, but it's actually a really, really solid 2 drop. It's like 3 1, attacks well. Trades. Little Grixis action. Shoulders Edict will take out the Suspear, no problem. Not brave enough, but not brave enough to attack here, which I respect, honestly. Kind of cool when this thing dies. Uh, I get to exile out and no treasure. So I could just um, could try to play a fire here. The problem is that they have cut down. It is still a good treasure. I think it's worth it, though. I should just play a fire. Love it. Get to exiled. Kamado's really, really good. Then we'll end step uh, Seek the Beast. Alright. Please don't counter us. We're at 13. Maybe we still get to jam for a ton next turn if they do counter it. Alright, here's an Urtai. So, we draw a card. Isn't the worst. Um, so, hopefully it's a spell. It's a ruby. And a play with fire. That's all pretty good. So I'll just do it all. Here's a land. Here's a ruby. Here's a play of fire. 
Here's an audacity. And this is an attack for... It's like, why didn't that die? Uh, this goes here. This pumps this. This is an attack for 11. They go to 4. We're out. We are... Uh, we're all in. It's the SBN all-in moment, but... Works for me. That was, uh, that was awesome. Alright, so... Mid-range deck. Probably want to board out of all the kind of, like, pumpy stuff. Maybe a more mid-range deck in game two. Bring the Bailots, the Miglaws, the Frenzies, the Jayas, the Squeeze. And we're going to cut uh, the Audacities, the Tyvar Stands, the Monstrous Rages. And I think that's mostly going to be it. How much I had to land on the board, honestly, to bring it out? So I'd have 22 lands post-board. We obviously have, to have like, some, you know, mana creatures and some card draw and stuff. But definitely a little light on lands, given the, the configuration of our deck. But um, any interest in Strangle over Play with Fire? they're going to have Corpse Praiser most likely. Maybe. Let me just do three Frenzies. Two Strangles. And then maybe Shave. Shave Play of Fire. Let's try this. So, going a little bigger. Again, I kind of wish we'd, if we had another land. Again, deck building wise, it might be a, a deck building uh, error, but... Damn, that is a solid hand. Black Cleave Cliffs. Kamano and Suspear again. We're going to play Kamano first again. Get the counter on Suspear. They have cut down, makes them waste the mana on the turn. Now they play a creature too. I can go like Suspear, play a fire. If they, have a, if they don't. Alright, so we draw Rockfall Veil. Here's Suspear. And then we're trying to attack and then not play anything if they have cut down, which they seem to have it because of the pause. I get to. Play a fire response and blow them out. All right. I'll leave it. Hold the play of fire. Pretty good start. Third land, pain land, like that. And just nothing again. All right. It's time to squee. Draw a spear, but this is a pretty easy squee, I think. Get squee going. Counter it, whatever. Worst case, I guess worst case here would be like counter it and then play Corpse Brazer, but or kill it, whatever. To attack too. All right, they have like Brotherhood's End or something like that. So they have Brotherhood's End. Um, we still have we have Squee in the Raybird, which is good. We have the Suspear, which is also also good. So we got a lot of damage in, and it takes them their entire. They say like they just do they didn't do anything the first few turns, so that's fine. Um, yep, there you go. So I might ask like, how'd you, how'd you know that, Jim? Because you you got to look at their plays and be like, okay, what have they done so far this game and what makes sense? And there's no way they would ever keep a hand that didn't have a play on one, two, or three unless they have a side sweeper. It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, But it still worked out fine. I think we had no way to really know that until we cast the Squee and they didn't counter it or kill it. But we got a bunch of damage and then you know this comes back anyway. And I think that the Swiss Spear and the Kamana were worth a bunch of damage. So now we're going to Swiss Spear. And already have... Squee needs four other cards. So we'll play Suspear and just play a fire them, I think. Just get some damage in. We have Frenzy for a shielder, which is cool. I think we, we can do better than that. Play Gorge. So now they're at six life. If they have a shoulder, I have a Frenzy and I get it for two. Was this lethal, actually, if I kept the play of fire? If they, they had shoulder. Because I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, actually, it would have been lethal, but obviously we didn't draw it, so. Um. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's an argument to keep, it, to keep it play of fire and just upkeeping it. And then, I, then, then it allows me to squee. But that's now I can't squee and I drew a land. So play of fire probably better than a random card. I think I might have been wrong, but we attack. Cut down. All right, that stinks. And then we will, I guess, just say go. Because we play squee and they kill it with the mana they have open. We're just letting them use this mana, whereas I don't think they can spend this mana profitably at all this turn. Which should I say go? Like Fairy Mastermind might be the only way to spend the mana profitably. Yep. All right. Sure. Well, that's fine. Not the worst ever. And now they now they play Shield or whatever. I can put Squee, which is good. All right. So they're at six. We're trying to. I think that keeping that shot that shock on top was a was not keeping shock on top was, was a big mistake, but. Let's have it go strangle. Um, sure, I don't mind that. Let's just start there. 
see what they do. Nothing. Okay. Um, we're going to cast Squee, exiling some stuff. I like Squee a lot. Great design. We're going to make a spear. Sure. It's fine. Just going to say go. We're going to hold the land because uh could have Liliana maybe. Another Mastermind. Wow. Okay. Wish we had more spells in the graveyard. Here's Hidetsu and Kari. So this ETB Brainstorm, when it dies, I take damage. You get the number of, uh, the amount of value of the card on top. Right. When it dies, I saw that card your library. I opponent loses life, amount of value, but it's a card, you may cast it at pay its mana cost. Sure. We draw Obstinate Bailoff. Um, that's fine. So play land, play Bailoff. Now when they attack, I'll just I'll frenzy the uh Hidetsu. Gain some life and say go. Ouch. That one stings. That one stings. Alright. So it's six. I think our best draw here is by far Seek the Beast. They've been land, make, disappear, so the card they took is better than those two cards, which is not saying much. Wow. They are not going to attack with the Hidetsu. Alright, we draw Godric. Godric trading for Appraiser is pretty bad. I think we just attack and then kill Hidetsu. See how they want to see how they want to play it. Hope they don't have a uh, go for throat on top of their deck. <laughs> All right, that's dead. All right, here we go. Don't be in this sorcery, please. It was a Chandra Hope's Beacon. Sick. Second Mastermind? Sure. This is fine. Make the trade here. Um, and now... Now the question is, do I want to hold Godric or just cast now that we're tapped out? I'm going to hold it and try and set up for Celebration next turn. Oh man, Corpse Breaker is so good. Alright, that's bad. They take a card that's better than two lands. So it could, could be... The floor is a land. I remember when I cast Corpse Praiser and you get to see the cards they take. Yeah, you just know the four, the card they took is obviously better than the cards that are there. So they're going to dash the River Tears. Oh, draw second Godric, please. Oh, never mind. Don't. It's a legend. Sorry. Uh, make a treasure. Draw a card. All right. Make a land. Come on. We're at seven. Um, all right. I'm just going to say go. We'll just try and sneak cheese out of win with this. If they kill us, they kill us. It's fine. If I attack and trade, it's terrible for us. We're so far behind, so... Just looking for a cheese out win here. We got a shield rune. Can't be much here, so... Oh, Chandra's hope to be getting... They're playing multiple Chandra's? Wow. Alright, so... Given that they're playing a lot of clunky stuff, we're going to board back into the aggro package for game three. Um, they have double Chandra, Hidetsu... Um, Make disappears, like their deck is clunky. So, bring him to stands, the audacities, uh, the monstrous rages. Um, more should just strangle than play a fire, honestly, at this point, and maybe in the frenzy. Let's cut all the jayas, all the thingies. Cut a squeeze, the uh, squeeze bad against the uh, appraiser, actually. Get rid of squeeze. Um, I think play with fire is worse than strangle. I want some number of frenzies but not all of them i think a miglaz can go also uh much call to play with fires actually they didn't show me any uh i mean they're, they're, they're for sure playing blood tithe harvester right like all right let's cut down two frenzies and then let's cut uh
I'm gonna cut a monstrous rage. It's still a little iffy to go for, uh, in the face of rule spells and stuff, so. They're playing some big stuff. Alright, on the play. Ugh, that's a gross end. Alright. Hand sucks keep. <laughs> Don't love it, but. We have Ruiner into Miglaws. That was a great draw. Alright, that helps out a lot. Seek the Beast is huge here. They have a cut down. Damn. Cut down's obviously really, really good against us. So you get to go Miglaws, then you get to go uh, End Step, Seek the Beast. They have Mate Spear here, it kind of sucks. Whatever. Just gotta do what we gotta do. Maybe you go for the Throat. Mastermind's great, sure. Don't care about this card basically at all, so. They attack. They have a Corpse Appraiser? No. Alright, so. Play a land, just send. Sweet. Alright, so just they go. With our Seek the Beast up. Till your next end step, you may play these cards. It's funny, so. Play a Mastermind. So until your next end step, we're already in the end step. So I want to resolve this questing druid right now. Until your next end step. Let me look that up. Um... I'm not seeing a ruling on this. Seek the beast. I'm pretty sure. I might just do it for science, honestly, but. Uh... Alright. I'm pretty sure that, you know, until your next end step, like the beginning of the next end step, and play those cards. So I'm pretty sure if I do this now, because the most important thing is to resolve this uh, in the face of, I guess they make, they, they make spirits still fine. I don't want to kill these masterminds too, though. This is a really uh, interesting question. Because we're, we're so reliant on resolving this, I think it'd be good. I'm just gonna freaking do it. I, I, it's for science. If it doesn't work, then so be it. But we reveal Besaju Audacity. Sure. And then we're gonna just hold this, I think, because that's now our hand's pretty poor, so we can go questing druid play a fire next turn and grow it. Alright, it worked. Alright, cool. Attack for four. They play shield. Not ideal, but sure. Untap. Draw. Another questing druid. Okay. Um. Just gonna freaking jam here. You know what? I could have maybe removed a counter and then just play with fire one of these. Kind of want to seek the beast again, but take ten. I think we can go to ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have to be try. I have to be trying to win next turn, basically. If I uh, if I take this damage. Let me cast this first and see what happens. See if they hit the counter or not. And see what we hit. See if we want to have a jump block or not. We hit Kamano and Godric, which is pretty good, actually. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, then ten from the trigger. Oh, they can make us, they can make us, make us bolt draw. So, yeah, we actually just die. Yeah, so we have, we have to block. All right. They would, they would just have, have us both draw, and then we would lose, so. Good catch. Alright. 
and draw. Questing Druid, Godric, Kamano. Attack for a bajillion. Kinda need to win the game like this turn, honestly. Yeah, we're not gonna play the guy. We're not gonna play the Questing Druid. Let's play Kamana. And play Godric. So this is technically lethal. We also have a bit of vigilance here too. Sure. We still die to the Still die to the masterminds and the trigger on Shieldred. They also have plus two life to gain to work with here. So this is 10, 11, 12. I think we're actually dead here. Yeah. They have actual anything we do, we're just dead. Yeah, maybe I should guess this play of fire early. It feels pretty bad to like have this card just we never we could have killed one of these feast fairies. Been like a, at like three or four higher life or four higher life. Um, both players draw. They're doing it now, so we're gonna be one short. That sucks. Draw Tyvar stand. Ugh. Oh, they draw. They draw a lot more than that, actually. All right, never mind. Yeah. All right. All right. They got us. Uh, good game. Um, we say go, we put four, and they just pump. Yeah, they're just dead. All right. Uh, yeah, good game. I think we could have maybe played better this game. I think if we'd used Play with Fire earlier on the Mastermind, um, this game might have worked out in our favor, but that's all right. GG. Oh, boy, that's an ugly hand. Uh, hand sucks, can't keep. <laughs> um, shock, utility spell. Five lands, got a mulligan, unfortunately. I did a little utility land, but... You mulligan into... Not much better, actually. We're going to keep this, unfortunately. We're going to ship the Carpulsion Forest. And hope we draw uh, a spell or two, because this is a pretty rough one. Alright. Uh, not looking great. Let's take you out here. If they play another dual land and they're playing domain, I can just play with fire them to scry, I suppose. Does not feel particularly great, but need to find some threats here. They play a restless force, some sort of Esper deck. Alright, just gonna draw. Oh my god. Alright, well. Drawing two lands was definitely not in the uh not in the uh not in the equation here as far as us putting together a good uh a good game. And S for something. Denik. Denik is good. That is a good card against us. Let me draw out of the Audacity. Alright. I think we're pretty close to going to game two here. <laughs> um, about as bad as it gets as far as a draw goes. I've drawn zero creatures uh, on the mulligan. And our blue spells have not lined up either. They play like a mastermind. I could have killed it, you know. Like we'd be kind of okay. But then they have this life linker. I don't really want to cast frenzy on. Yeah. Just gonna say go. We draw yet another land. All right. Um, yeah, sometimes, uh, games of magic don't go your way. Here's a Wandering Emperor. Sure. I think we're just going to go to game two. I'm not going to show them any more cards. So, they're playing us for mid-range. We got our information. Um, probably a little tough for us. We don't line up super well against, uh, Danik and Rafine, and they have a lot of rule spells, but bring the Barrages, bring in this, we need to decide if we're going to be, be like the beatdown deck against them, or we're going to be a bigger deck. We didn't show them actual anything. I think I'm fine just uh, being the beatdown deck. We're going to cut some of these play of fires. And we're going to bring in our barrages and some strangles. And then do I want squee? I don't think so. Um, make a third frenzy because they definitely have shoulder in their deck, obviously. It's reasonable. Two strangle, two barrage. Hmm. Uh, 
How's Miglaws here? They have no enchantments. 4-4 four, four lines up poorly against Shieldred. Might just like not be big enough either. I'm trying to shave one of these. I think it's fine. Let's try this. All right. Let's try and actually play a game here if that's possible. They saw nothing. They just saw green, red, green. We, didn't cast, we actually didn't cast a spell that game. So they saw red, green lands. That was it. I'm not sure what they can even assume that we would be. Um, just like playing a bunch of red, green lands. But let their creative imagination uh, try and figure it out, I suppose, you know? All right. On the fly. Uh, much better hand, obviously. Still a little light on actual threats, but uh, this is fine. We can work with this. Point of Mulligans. We can just end step Seek the Beast and go from there. Which isn't ideal, but love to just draw two drop, honestly. That is not a two drop, so we'll say go. End step Seek the Beast. Hopefully we hit like a land and a good spell. Oh, it's in the tank already on turn two. Seek the Beast. I like this card. Well designed card. Land time or stand that's still. Alright, so we missed out on a spell here, unfortunately. We go land and we're just gonna play Miglaws. A lot of lands again, unfortunately, but they have make spear or go for the throat here. It's pretty bad. It's our only threat. Yeah, alright. We got some work to do. Wedding announcement. Sure. We draw. Oh, that's actually a really good draw. Second question druid. So we have to go question druid. Go. And then we'll end step seek the beast again. And then we can start loading up. This thing's going to be pretty big. They're going to attack. I mean, I'm just going to block and cast my spell, right? Like, make them act. What do you got, friend? They counter this, it's pretty bad for us, but they have a cut down. Sure. If they cut that out of counter spell, that'd be gross. We have two more lands. All right, well, yeah, sure, about that. Um, we draw a ruby, so we can go forest, questing druid, ruby, add a counter. And I guess we're just gonna say go. Um, no reason to cast Audacity. We could play Audacity on the tracker, but like that's not even a good, a good attack. They have much, they have mana up and much, much spells in their hand. I'm just gonna chill. Rage can counter cut down. Virtue, damn. All right, yeah, we're in trouble. Seven lands is not ideal. Now I lost two cards on our our uh, our draw twos. Here's a Rafine. Not good. They're gonna attack. And they're gonna fire in on the knight. They have to eat two tokens here. That's not the worst. Can I have draw three, discard three? Discarding Denik, Denik, Dakatakanuma. All right. I mean, obviously their hands juice now because they have the all the looting they just did. But let's draw like a good spell here, please. Or land. That's cool too, I guess. All right, we're basically dead. Um, just gonna play. They got nothing. We'll put audacity on the druid attack pump, and then try monsters rage. Yeah, we're we're like eight lands. It's just an un unbelievable amount of lands for us. So we'll attack. See how they block. If they block. Think either way we're going to rage. And then we're probably going to die. Because we have all, all lands, so. We're going to block the ruby. So we would have a... Uh, fortunately, it's just, 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 just a trade, but... Pump that, 5-4, does some extra damage, but yeah, we're in a world of hurt here. Uh, we have literally set uh, really eight lands. They have shielded. Yeah, I mean, not a great match, unfortunately. Pretty bad draws all around, but that's the, them's the break sometimes. 
Give me one more land for complaint equity. Oh, yeah. Oh, love it. And this We call this in the business complaint equity. This is where if you're like already getting really unlucky, you almost want to get more unlucky so your bad beat story is better. And uh, I think that would qualify right there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Super dead here. Let me draw one more land. That'd be cool. Maximum complaint equity. Actually, we're, we're, just, we're just dead here, right? Discard your spells, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Eh, whatever. Just call it. Alright, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Not a game. Every, not a game of every game magic is a good one. Alright, so, um, unfortunately, we didn't get, didn't get to play against an aggro deck or the ramp deck or a control deck. So we played against three mid, three mid range decks in a row. And I think mid range is, you know, probably the one of the better decks against us. Although we had some really, really good games. You know, we won one, won one. Almost one one with better play. I think we would have in that last one. We kind of just, you know, whatever it happens. But deck's super sweet. Uh, you don't see decks like this like in standard very often. Kind of like a synergy-based aggro deck, which is really, really good to see. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see more of this. Deck's really, really fun. Definitely one to work on a little bit more. But really cool things happening here. Love the mana curve. Love the aggression. A little bit of, a little bit of grind also. Deck's super sweet. Really, really fun deck. So, I'm your Davis or CoolStuffInc.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all the good things. Check out the website. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. I'm out, folks. Have a good one.